do you use delay on vocals and how should it be used? Um, I do use delay. Um, uh, here, uh, I used probably more reverb than delay, which is unusual for me. Um, I'm typically in a very ambient room. Um, this is a very dry room. Um, so I use delay uh, instead of reverb in an ambient room to leave space, just like guitar players and keyboard players. I'm asking you not to, to play all over the vocal. The same can be said for reverb. It'll take up all the space. It'll sometimes contribute to feedback. So if you use delay it, and you use it properly by or what I think is proper by sort of rolling off top and bottom end, um, I don't want a lot of high frequencies repeating this like echo, echo, echo effect. Um, I want it to almost come across like reverb. And so I try to tuck it in the mix and then I put the delay return, and you can do this on digital consoles, well, you can do it on all consoles. I put the delay right next to the lead vocal, the return of the delay. So, and Jimmy caught me a couple of times because I've known Jimmy for a while, but I've only mixed for him a couple of times. And he'll say something real quick in between the lyrics. So when he does that, it's under my first finger. I instinctively pull that delay down, and I have whatever that delay time is to get it out of the way, let that repeat happen, and then I bring it back in. And I kind of feel like sometimes I want you to hear the delay. I want you to feel this, like, pulse. Um, but most of the time, I don't want you to perceive the delay. And I think that was the case here. Mm, I, I've been better at hiding it than I have been the last couple of days. But it was always on. So if you didn't hear it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs>